Hello everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my story with you this evening. My name is Maria Itzel Soto. I'm a first generation college student, daughter of two very hardworking parents who have taught me practically from birth that education is everything. And it worked. On May 9th, 2020, I became the first in my family to graduate from college with a bachelor's degree in social work with a minor in history from Heritage University. My time at Heritage has been transformative. Because of the opportunities that I received at Heritage, I will now be able to continue my education at the University of Washington in the Advanced Standing Master's in Social Work program, the number three public university Master of Social Work program in the nation. Which by the way, if anyone watching needs a roommate in Seattle, please let me know. I am quiet and clean, serious inquiries only. Please allow me to tell you more about myself. Latina, proud, Mexicana, undocumented. They're all part of me. My identity is not fixed and it is not something that I have always been proud of. I was born in Colima, Mexico and came to the United States at the age of four. My parents sacrificed everything they knew for me and my siblings. They gave up their way of life, friends, job, community, and anything familiar to them to create a new life for the good of our family. Because I am undocumented, I have had to overcome many obstacles to get to the same place as others. I've been called an illegal, an alien, and many other names not suitable for TV, meant to dehumanize me. I live in constant anxiety of the unknown. Even now, the Supreme Court is deliberating on a case, the outcome of which will decide my future. For 16 years, my status has been in the hands of others. At best, it is worrisome. At worst, it can be very terrifying. Even with these constant worries, it has not stopped me from pursuing my dreams. It is in times of despair that you must rise above, work harder, and demonstrate your resolve. Every day you do so, you become more resilient, more determined. Little did I know that my status would continue to complicate my life even after high school. You see, DACA students do not qualify for federal college grants, making the cost of college education that much more daunting. Thankfully, that's where you and people like you made it possible to overcome that deficit. It is thanks to the good men and women of this valley and throughout the state who give so generously to Heritage University scholarships that I am here today. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for what you have done for me and my family. I simply wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. My development as an individual and as a leader has been through the various leadership roles that I have taken on at Heritage University, which include Chair of Leadership and Vice President for Student Government Association, the Recruitment and Retention Advisor for Lambda Theta Alpha Land Sorority Incorporated, being in the HU Honors Program, the Student Representative for the Undergraduate Curriculum Committee, and a tutor at the Writing Center. Through these experiences, I have grown into someone who has the passion and the will to help the Yakima Valley grow and thrive. And when we think of what helps us all thrive in the valley, we are talking about agriculture. Nearly all of my life, I have worked alongside my mother in the agricultural fields and it has taught me so many important life lessons. Field work is arduous. It challenges you both physically and mentally. But most of all, it teaches you to be humble. During the summer of 2019, my job consisted of pulling out giant weeds that grew around the hop vines, many of which reached the height of my hips. Most of the time, the weeds had thorns that dug into your skin. It was a sea of these giant weeds and they took every ounce of strength I had to pull them out. So many times I wanted to give up and cry because of how hot and difficult the job was but I hadn't finished the season. I had a dream. A dream not just for me, but for the people I met while working in the fields. The people I worked alongside knew I was struggling. They saw a skinny, weak girl trying to keep up, but instead of leaving me behind, they helped me. I did my absolute best to be as fast as everyone and prove that I could work hard. They knew I was doing my best, so they would constantly go over to my line and help me out to catch up and then go back to theirs. There was one specific woman that never left me behind. She would tell me, Te voy a adoptar y vas a ser mi hija en el trabajo. 
No te voy a dejar sola. I am going to adopt you as my daughter while we are here working and I won't leave you. I have so much gratitude for her. She did not have to help me, but because she saw my need, she worked harder every day to help me. These experiences inspired me to continue my education, to achieve my dream, to use my education and leadership skills to advocate for farm workers. They play vital roles in feeding our community and the world, and I want to create systems and protocols that recognize the important role that they play in all of our lives. I am privileged to be able to receive an education. I want to use that education for my people and the community. I have finally made it to the finish line. Esta es nuestra victoria, Maipa. Lo hicimos. We did it, Mom and Dad. This is our victory. I would like to thank you for listening to my story. I am honored to share it with you. But my story is just that of hundreds like it at Heritage. My classmates are, are our future teachers and nurses, our future scientists and historians, our future civic and business leaders. No matter what we all do, we all want to do the same thing, to contribute to a thriving and loving Yakima Valley community where all are valued, respected, and have the opportunity to contribute to this wonderful place we call home. Thank you for making my dream and that of my classmates possible through your generosity. We could not have done it without you. Thank you. <laughs>